Hello zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. We're bringing you a new subscription box, Beauty, that I found out about. This is actually the first one. I did purchase it myself. Um, and it is called Kinder Beauty. It is a cruelty-free uh, subscription service for makeup and skincare. It has been started by, um, I don't remember one of the girls, but the other one is Ivana Lynch, who played Luna Lovegood in Harry Potter. This is her beauty subscription service. I was just really curious because, you know, we try to bring newer things to you and this is a cruelty-free box, which you, you'll start to see on the channel. We do a lot more with the cruelty-free now instead of not. We're a lot more conscious about that. Um, in fact, I, I do have a video, if it's not up already, it will be coming up. Brands I want to try in 2019. There's a lot more cruelty-free, vegan-free, or vegan-free, not vegan-free. Vegan and cruelty-free products. Vegan-free, just made list. out of a hunk of meat. It's that, that's, yes. Um, so, full disclosure about this, like I said, I did purchase this myself. I... I canceled my subscription afterwards, not because I think the box is bad, but just because there are other things I want to try. Unless the box is like so overwhelmingly amazing that I'm like, I need this in my life. I'm just here to bring it to you, okay? So that is where we stand. Do not think that me canceling it is a measure of whether I like the box or not. Like I said, it is like this, Kinder, Kinder Beauty Box. It, the box itself is looks like it's made out of recycled cardboard. So right away, I really feel this, like, mm -hmm. you know, more responsible about what is happening in this box. Okay. Marshall knows nothing about this. Like, nothing. Um, there are five items in each box. The box itself costs $24. I do not remember if there was shipping added on top or not. I will put a link down below if you're interested. However, uh, it's not an affiliate and then you don't get a discount or anything like that. It's literally just a link. They are on waiting list right now. So that's how popular this is. This is what the card looks like. I love the leaf mm -hmm. cut out right here. This is welcome. And it says ethical beauty curated with kindness. So in January 2019, obviously their first box, um, it is embracing self-love, treating ourselves and others with kindness and respect making the world a better place. A portion of the proceeds from the January box will benefit the Los Angeles County Animal Care Foundation. The box is made from 100% recycled materials and is both recyclable and biodegradable. So there was that. Even the ink on the box is eco-conscious soy-based baked ink. Wow. So I, that was another reason why I wanted to try this because I thought this is like really interesting, their viewpoint about not only the stuff that's going on you, but the stuff that they are giving you, the packaging, all of it is really like... It's smart. And, you know, it, it's all kind of packaged up rather than with, like, plastic wrap or something like that. Mm -hmm. it, it's this paper straw. Yeah, so it's also biodegradable. Um, so we're going to start with the first thing. We're going to kind of go in order. Um, oh, they are also vegan. So it's vegan, 100% vegan, and cruelty-free. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else on here I should mention. Okay, so we're actually going to start with the first thing on here. I will let Marshall show it off. This is the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream. So this is an anti-inflammatory, caffeine-rich green tea and coffee, de-puffs while increasing circulation to brighten dark circles, concentrated with potent anti-aging vitamins, antioxidants, and nourishing rosehip oil to make the eye area look more awake and more youthful. Truly 100% pure. The retail value on this is $26. And uh, I I think I am very excited about this item, actually, because I've been a lot more into skincare as I'm getting older. Like, now I kind of know what works when, on me makeup-wise, so I, I'm still discovering new brands, but I'm not, like, fully into, like, trying new trends. Now it's all about, like, skincare for anti-aging for me. And eye, care, eye cream is one of those things that I am still trying to find what I like. That and vitamin C serum are like my, my holy grail hunts right now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy for this. I love having coffee and green tea in my skincare, vitamin C, those kind of a things I just, I adore. So I think I'm gonna like this product a lot. $26 for eye cream is in the range of yes, that's what happens when you start doing skincare. It gets a little more expensive because you don't need that much. It's gonna last for a little while, but oh, I, I still kind of cringe. So I, I also found it really odd how they packaged it. It's inside this 
cardboard tube, but they at least thought to take that tube, the tube that they put it in has this little tiny hole at the bottom. So when you put it together, it actually kind of slides. Like a fan. Yeah, so you can take it and you, that little tiny hole and just kind of clean off your keyboard. <laughs> That's fun. What do we got next, sir? What we got next is the Andalou Naturals Enlighten Serum. It's got turmeric and vitamin C. Which we were talking about that, the vitamin C serum. That's another thing I'm looking for, holy grail. I had none. Now I have like four or five. So this must be like a trend of vitamin C serums. So it has fruit stem cell complex, turmeric, vitamin C, and skin friendly magnesium asorbyl phosphate. Enzymatically support dermal vitality, targeting overexposed surface cells for a lighter, tighter, brighter looking appearance and a luminous complexion. Uh, retail price is $24.95. Again, I think that's reasonable for that's a vitamin reasonable. C. This is actually not a bad amount of this serum. Yeah, it really isn't. Because, okay, I got like, I started out with the e.l.f. vitamin C serum, which is, you know, it's fine. Um, it was about $8. And e.l.f. is like a lower brand. This is probably a higher brand. And to be vegan and cruelty free and be like that. This is something I think I, I, if I like it, I might actually purchase again. Well, see, when I, when we first started doing these videos about like what about makeup in there, and we'd see some of these serum vials, I'd be like, twenty five dollars for this. But after actually using some skincare products myself and seeing just how much I end up using, that's actually a pretty good amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially for twenty five bucks. Mm -hmm. All again, it'll last you forever. Um, the last, the next thing we have is by Inca Organic. I think it's Inica. Inica. Inica Organic Loose Mineral Eyeshadow in Cocoa Motion. The, yeah, you could have gotten it in three different colors. Peach Fetish, Copper Crush, or Cocoa Motion, which is the one I got. Um, <laughs> so we can come up with the box. I'm not going to open it up because it is a pigment and it's probably going to get all over the place, but you'll be but able to see it. the bottom of it is clear, so it's it's a nice, like, chocolatey brown. So the eyeshadow is rich in pigment, providing vibrant and opulent colors that last all day. The purity of ingredients means that they are perfect for even the most sensitive eyes. Inica eyeshadows are multi-purpose and can be used wet or dry as a shadow or eyeliner. Um, retail price, $22.00. For a pigment, not bad for a higher end pigment, especially for um, vegan or cruelty free. However, for me, I am not really interested in this. Um, I just tend to like palettes. Pigments just don't do it for me. Um, I just don't want to deal with the mess. So I think this is probably a great product, but I was kind of surprised with myself that the, the thing that I'm not interested in is a beauty product, like an actual beauty product, but okay. that is what it is. Our next product is from Honey Bee Gardens. Oh, it's the Effortless Eyeliner in Belgian Chocolate. So enhance and define the natural beauty of your eyes with confidence. This smooth formula won't drag or pull delicate skin, glides on gently and fluidly from the moment you open it. Easy to apply for a perfect long wearing look. Um, uh, retails for $8.99. Now, I'm not a fan of these types of pencils, but the claims are that it won't drag or pull. If that is true, I probably would be more interested in this. I don't typically also go for uh, the brown eyeliners. I usually go black, but the brown for the eyes. So I am thinking maybe I'll use this as an eyebrow pencil instead of an eyeliner. Um, but we'll see how, sometimes if it's an eyebrow pencil, if it's too mushy and like just goes all over the place, it's not great. So I'm going to play around with this. I'm not super excited for it, but I think that I could make it work. I'm more excited for it than I am the eyeshadow pigments, really. The last thing is from, it's either pronounced Warana or Jurana. <laughs> it's J-U-A-R-A. -A. Tell me if you know down below. I think it's Wara. Wara. Okay, this is the Rice Facial Clean Cleanser. This is a deluxe size, it's not a full size. Soften and cleanse skin in one simple step. This sulfate-free, lightly foaming cleanser melts away dirt, oil, and makeup without stripping skin, leaving you refreshed and revitalized. It says MSRP not available because this is deluxe size. I would like to know what the big size is. Uh, sells for? I don't know. What are the ingredients like on the back of that? The ingredients be unrevealed. It don't tell you. Eh, 
okay. I'm guessing it has rice in there. Probably. It's either rice I, or rice in there. I'm always down for a cleanser, especially in a deluxe size, because I know it's, I'm going to be able to use it pretty fast. If not me, then just the boys will also use it. So, okay, so as far as I have my feelings about this box, I'm super excited about the serum and the eye cream, for sure, so excited. Um, I would probably end up spending $25 just on those two products alone, so I am okay with that. Um, eyeshadow, not really. Eyeliner, I'll make it work. And the cleanser, I'll totally use, but I'm not like, yay about it. So I would say it's a good box, especially if you're looking for skincare and you're not like, really, if you're kind of new to trying to discover skincare, for full-size products that are vegan and cruelty-free, this is actually a really good box. Um, so definitely check this out. I will leave the link down below for you. What are your thoughts? I thought it was quite effective. Um, I, there wasn't a lot that you would use, I don't think, but uh, of those things that you would use, I think I'm interested in a couple of those, actually. The, the eye cream and the um, other serums. Those are fun. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.